Welcome to another productive day in my life. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you're regular, thank you for coming back to this crackhead show. As I've basically already said, I'm gonna be doing a productive day in my life. I have a few things that I want to do today: shopping, hair care, skincare. If you can hear from the sound of my voice, I'm kind of sick, but I'll tell you why I'm sick later. Just know, Kosa men, Kosa men, pure pressure, Kosa men. Today is actually the 28th of July, which is actually my brother's birthday. I need to call him. Since I've been sick, I didn't sleep well last night, so my bones are killing me. And in order for today to be a great productive day, <laughs> I need to get them stretched out. So we are going to be doing some yoga to fix that. I'm going to be doing a, a five minute yoga full body stretch. stretched out i feel alive um i want to go take a shower then we'll proceed to my skincare by the way my hair is covered because Ooh, huh, huh, hmm. i want to take a shower and let's proceed with the day that was actually good let me not just jump past this part that was actually good i would really suggest to people who have a yoga mat or exercising one even if you don't have one because i started with not having one i did exercises before i even had a yoga mat i just got this shit last year was it last year this year it was this year so if you really want to get into exercising or basically um flexibility because also that's another thing guys you as you're getting older you're getting more stiff and just walking becomes tough because your joints are like guys now nah, please a five minute yoga it doesn't mean hurry you are a chakra hand please i know a lot of people be like no nah, i don't want to do yoga because i don't, don't want to become a chakra hand you're not going to become a chakra hand or a chakra nigga i didn't touch no damn crystals but it 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 helps you know you know it helps it's, it's literally a body stretch just think about it as literally warm-ups before soccer play soccer 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 match or warm-ups before an athletic uh race let me get my ass up because guys i don't want to go to the shops when it's so late i need to get a bonnet because the frizzing my hair is doing i'm aware now that a bonnet might save my life even though i, I, I always used to look at it like is it even gonna stay on my head because even dupuna doesn't stay on my head it doesn't so i need to get myself a bonnet but not today another day all right welcome to skin case sorry about the terrible angle because small space baby but i just wanted to do my skincare real quick just hopped out of the shower and i also wanted to tell you guys about the products i've been using recently because i didn't want to say anything much about them until i've used them for quite some time and i'm seeing like what they can do so there's this thing called la lab everyday skincare i bought this a pip because i wanted a face wash and a moisturizer because those are two things I've never had, but I'm like, I'm not about to splurge on a brand that's very expensive and I don't know what the fuck they do. I'm only using these two recently because of this bitch right here. And they are working, they're doing their job, but it's literally just to get rid of this bitch. But anyway, so basically this is what they both look like. Just a drop, we don't need a lot, it's just a drop. The usual i don't use cotton pads because i hate the texture of them against my skin i'm just gonna take a bit of vaseline now i'm taking the moisturizer same thing low dot little bit that's it for skincare baby hi children i wasn't gonna do like a makeup look but then i realized that cheers today I want to go to the streets and look cute. So I'm going to be doing a quick no makeup makeup look. Oh yeah, I wanted to have a chat with y'all about why I'm sick and why we should all fear Kosamin. Not in a dating way, but also that. But just because of what I'm about to tell you, fear Kosamin. I think we all know that the government said, hey, you don't have to wear a mask. If you don't want to, it's cool. You don't have to wear a mask. That's what Ramaphosa said, right? But he didn't say COVID is gone. 
So for some of us that got used to fucking wearing a mask, I really can't breathe normal air and feel okay. Like, it just... Mm -mm. Uh -uh. If it's not mixed with a little bit of carbon dioxide, I don't fucking... Uh -mm. Hi, yeah, the first week was okay because people were not sure. They're like, ah, no, it's a trick. There's no way I'm not supposed to say it. Da, 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 da. Hi, a week later, I see, you know, when you go to town, that's how you see people wearing masks, like people in taxis and stuff. Hi, I see her, no, uh uh. Two weeks later, no, people have taken off their masks. Like, they, they, people are just straight up chilling and coughing, like, hoo, 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 in the taxi with no fucking mask on. I'm just like, bro, you know you're sick. Like, where the fucking mask? This, they said you don't have to wear it. But I think the but in that whole statement was for you. If you want to be fucking sick, put the fucking mask on. So sharp. there was a day where I wanted to go meet up with my boyfriend. I wore my mask and I was walking from, like, literally my hood. I was walking down the road. Mind you, there was no one wearing masks on the street. But not, like, I woke up so early. It was so cold that breathing cold air felt uncomfortable. By the way, it was a Sunday. Tell me why a group of niggas opposite side of the fucking road, one of them, Cause a fucking nigger. Start screaming. Sisi, you can't run the pelele, Sisi. You can't run the pelele. Yeah, keep your mask, keep your mask. Or umubi, umubi, Sisi. I'm sure umubi. You come, that's why you're wearing a mask. Like, screaming. There's people in the street just staring at me like I'm weird or some shit. I umubi, I umubi. Keep your mask, Sisi. Like, he just keeps going. His friends are laughing. I'm like, okay, at first it was a joke. But the fact that he's just, he keeps going and he saw me like, look at him, like, acknowledge him, like, ha ha, funny joke, okay. And I kept walking and he just kept coming after me. I'm like, now this is becoming harassment. Because at first it was a joke. I laughed. It was funny. But now that you're carrying on, this is actually like straight up harassment. You literally made, you embarrassing the fuck out of me. So I just kept walking. And then he's like, sissy, it's a Sunday. Why are you wearing a mask? Hey? Are you hiding from God? I'm like, what the f My nigga. My bro. <laughs> So I got to my boyfriend and I was like feeling hella shitty, dog. So fucking shitty. I didn't expect a guy who's just like, I don't know, you know, some dried up gins to have words that affected me. I don't think it's the words themselves that affected me. It was just the fact that it's not a big thing, but you made it a big thing. It's not a thing, you're, you're, you're sick for wearing a mask. You're weird for it. Like we wore a mask together for two years. Why all of a sudden... The minute they say take it off, I'm the weirdo. Like, what the fuck? That's what I realized. People in fucking South Africa are fucking stupid sometimes. It's, I think a week later, I went to go, like, because my boyfriend's not around. I went to water his plants and stuff like that. And I got on the taxi and I got the pressure to not wear my mask. So I took off my mask. And that was the fucking worst day because the guy in front of me... He, he he seemed like mentally unstable honestly to be honest with you i don't know if he was mentally un like unstable or he was drunk but he was shouting at other ladies who the taxi decided to wait like you know when a taxi knows you are kakfa and it just stops the guy did that and this man started shouting at those ladies who you are making us late and when i checked the time dog it was literally like 12 o'clock i'm like there's no one who fucking travels to another place that far uh 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 that late dog you know if you go into the makayas or vacation you leave early there's even if it's like a quick one hour drive somewhere you leave early when the fuck do we leave at 12 and now he's blaming people how look at it late i'm like bro him and his hana they're shouting at these people these poor ladies are like so embarrassed so i was in that and this nigga was coughing he was coughing he was talking and it's one of those things where you could feel his saliva like just spritzing on your face and I was just like, Ugh. so I tried to look away, open the window, look into the window. I'm like, I'd rather breathe air from outside. Anyway, so sharp. I could feel already just walking in the streets where I'm breathing a lot of weird things. Like I could smell piss. I could smell shit. I even thought I could smell needles, dog. Like it just smelled bad. I, just when I realized, mm -mm, I can't live without my fucking mask. Sharp. Tell me why the next day I was coughing. I was having sore throat, blocked nose. Till today. That's why I'm like this. That's the story of how I'm like this. And partly I blame myself because at my big age, how am I getting peer pressured? It's now time for me to work on my hair. Again, guys, no judgment due. I know, I know. So here's the funny thing about my hair. It goes through an afro stage, but in order to get here, this thick afro situation, I have to suffer first. 
as in it's not gonna cooperate it's not gonna do anything it's gonna be dry it's gonna wanna fall apart and then after that after i've ignored it as in no combing just wake up every day spray it and ditch it then it becomes what you're gonna see now now This is the best I could do for today. I think I'm gonna eat an orange on my way out. So I cut up some fruit, obviously an orange. Two thousand years later. All done. I ended up deciding that I'm gonna wear my leather jacket and now I wanna leave because I'm taking too much time here at home. Um, I also have a list of all the things I wanna buy. I like shopping. Especially when, when it's not with my money. I like shopping. <laughs> Guys, didn't I literally say I have to take a mask? Didn't I leave it on the bed? I left it on the bloody bed. Yo, do y'all feel that wind? Do y'all hear that wind? Anyway, let's play a little game called Name Your Toxic Trait. So, my toxic trait is thinking that I can see without my glasses. Because I just left them and then when I was about to close the door, I realized I couldn't see the keyhole. So I was like, oh shit, my glasses. That's my toxic trait. What's yours? <laughs> confused that woman's gonna kill me i don't understand how things were that expensive like i didn't get everything she's like i'm to one but i want to sit and actually i don't want to say calculate but look into the slip because yesterday um i looked at the catalog and i was looking at the specials and everything so i put everything knowing sort of some things cost this much there's only about maybe a good eight things that i bought that i didn't know the exact price but i had an estimation in my head Sugar. Sugar! Guys, my mom told me to buy 2 kg brown sugar. And she was like, you have to buy a surprise brand. She told me straight, buy the cheapest. Because we're going to use this sugar to make um, dessert for... If we want to make something. So, she was like, it doesn't matter. Just get brown sugar. Hey, man, who's constructing at this time? Anyway, never mind the sound. So, I was like, I'm going to buy the cheapest, ne? The OG OG sugar things that we know, Bosalati and them, were fucking expensive, like 42 going to the 50s. I bought like literally no name brand and it's 40 bucks. I'm out of, I'm, thing is they didn't have the price on the thing. And I was like, there's no way this thing would be above. What did I say? I mean, I think I even wrote on my list somewhere here. I there's no way this should be probably above 30. I'm like, yay. I said 28 actually. I'm shit. I guess shit is expensive because everything kind of counts and I can't say the extra 10 rand from both like okay, the extra 20 rand I didn't predict would take me off a budget uh, an extra 170 bucks. Literally, I was off budget by 170. I had to leave something behind. Guys, things are expensive. Doing another plastic set Otherwise, yo, let me unpack and then so what happened? 2,000 years later. I want to wipe off my makeup, so that's what we're doing. Like I was going to keep it the whole day, but I want to nap. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this short day in my life. Literally, this is where the day ends. Even though it's literally half past, I think it's two o'clock. 
literally after this i'm just gonna be chilling and i don't want to shoot me chilling for the rest of the day until i cook dinner which is late lately so uh -uh. so this is where i'm gonna end this video thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel for more content definitely more coming through because i post one video every week every monday at 1 p.m um but guys don't forget to subscribe let's grow this family guys i i said we are close to a k let's just keep growing this family i'll see you in the next video ciao bella